arrived in 1994, 95, there was only about 8% representation of women. In 2006 local government elections, if I'm not mistaken, we then acquired 42% representation of women. But it's not only about numbers. It's about the commitment, it's about the dedication, uh, it's about the focus uh, in, in that when you do service delivery, you mustn't be gender blind. You need to think that the majority of people are, who are poor are women and therefore you must be biased towards uh, women. When I was the Speaker of Council, um, I had an opportunity to organize the women councillors themselves into a women's caucus. Building a alliances of women in the work that we do is critical. If you don't do that, we won't achieve women's emancipation. We worked with Gender Links, one of the non-governmental organizations. They taught us as women you know, on, on, on how to, to advocate issues of gender equality and women empowerment. We got many women really to be conscientized and to, you know, when they do their work, really to focus uh, on women empowerment and, and, and gender equality. So it was very, very exciting. But at the same time, uh, there were men who were threatened and they, they resisted uh, the work of the Women's Caucus by in meetings, by saying in meetings that why is there a need to have a different forum of women? And uh, we had to, to argue with them that, look, we know that uh, you are also interested, but there are things that we, we have to debate as, as, as women. Uh, and also the fact that before we, we go to council, we really need to assist one another on, 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 on issues, on how to debate issues in council. that we did uh, in local government, in community development in particular, was uh, about women's projects, women development projects, uh, especially focusing on women who are unemployed. So we've supported them as government. There was a fund uh, to assist these projects, community projects, and they also benefited from these funds. But it's also not about money. It's not about funding. It's about support, it's about skills, it's about knowledge. So we instilled and inculcated a culture of, uh, of taking control of your life through economic empowerment so that when they are abused, when they are violated, etc., they don't have to stay in that marriage. They have to, you know, to go elsewhere and be able to, to feed themselves, to clothe themselves, to feed their children, to educate their children. <laughs> Feminism is one of the viable strategies for emancipation of women in South Africa. Because it's not always about water, electricity, sanitation, uh, houses, etc. But it's also about the mindset uh, of how people in society think about relations between men and women, boys and girls. Uh, I am a feminist if it's about the rights for women uh, in this country, in society, if it's about fighting patriarchy in society, uh, if it's about indeed ensuring that men and women in this country uh, are free, I will remain a feminist as long as the power relations between men and women in this country are not equal. Yes, we have a constitution that you know espouses gender equality, women empowerment, but it's not only about the constitution, it's about how it translates uh, those clauses and provisions into real life of empowering uh, women socially and uh, economically.